Hello friend, welcome to today's practice, a quick 30 minute sequence designed to help you warm up your body, energize yourself and especially pay attention to the lower body. We'll be building strength and stretching your legs, your hips and your low back. So all you'll need is two blocks if you like to use props for the class and your precious self. Let's get started. Just give yourself a moment to arrive, maybe move your neck a little bit side to side. Let yourself stretch, let yourself yawn. Hmm. And eventually bring yourself to a seated position, allowing your sitting bones to ground, your spine to lengthen, your shoulders to relax and your eyes maybe soften or close down. And just give yourself a moment to collect all the pieces of you that are scattered. Whether it's the beginning, the middle, or the end of your day. Chances are that there's things you need to do. Things that you did, didn't do. But see if you can bring all of you right here, right now, just for a few minutes as we join in this practice. So take a deep inhalation through your nose, let it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom, feeling the plenitude of this day, of this new season. And side out, letting your entire body soften and surrender just a little bit more toward the surface beneath you. And again on the inhalation, ride it up and outward connect to the expansion. Exhale, let yourself soften and relax even if it's just 1% more into the moment, into your practice. And I invite you to consider why is it that you chose to show up today? What do you intend to invoke, create, Embody, explore. Or perhaps what you intend to do is release or let go of something. Even if it's just an exploration for the next few minutes in this practice. Take a deep breath in through your nose, filling up your entire body once again. Inside out. On your next inhalation, reach your arms out and up. Let yourself stretch, interlacing your hands overhead. Flip your palms up and reach through the heels of your hands as you lengthen through the side body. If your shoulders lift up, that's okay. Just notice the stretch and the length of your body. Breathe in. Breathe out, lean a little bit toward the right, opening up the left side of your body. On your inhalation, come back to center, creating more length again. And on the exhalation, lean toward the other side, opening up the side body. There's no need to go very far. The intention is to just notice how you feel and how you arrive. Inhale back through center. Inhale, hands a little bit to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, take it a little bit to the left. Come back to the midline, release your hands and take them out to the sides. Start to flip your palms up as you breathe in, taking your pinkies forward and back. And on your exhalation, switch the rotation. So this time you'll rotate forward and down. Your thumbs go down, down, down and back. One more of each. Inhale to flip your palms up and back. Maybe your gaze lifts a little bit. And on your exhalation, switch the rotation. Maybe your gaze goes down a bit. 
Flip your palms up toward the sky, take your gaze forward, inhale, palms unite overhead, reach them high. Exhale, draw your hands in front of your heart, let your shoulders relax, let your gaze soften, close your eyes. And just consider, how is it that you're choosing to start this week? Yes, of course, there are things that you must do and that you don't have any choice over. But perhaps you let yourself imagine the spaces in between. What small choice will you make today or this week that aligns you a little bit more with who you truly are? Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Release your hands. Start to bring yourself toward a tabletop position, hands and knees. As always, if your knees are sensitive, I invite you to use a blanket or a towel underneath them. But also, if you don't have that, you can grab your mat and kind of pinch it and then double fold it and then you can put your knees there. Yeah, and that's a great way to take a little bit of the pressure off the knees. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, bring them shoulders width, spread your fingers wide, grip through your fingertips or make fists with your hands, whatever is best for your wrists. And I want you now to start to just create any intuitive movement that you'd like. So perhaps it's nice big circles with your hips around your knees one way and then the other. Maybe you'd rather take a few cat cows. Maybe it's a completely different movement. There's absolutely no right or wrong unless you choose to label it as right or wrong. So what would serve your body? What would serve your energy? What would align you with the intention that you're setting? One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, find stillness on your tabletop position. Again, ground through your hands or fists. Bring your knees about hips distance apart. On your inhale, take your right leg behind you. Now I want you to bend the knee and flex your foot. And then lift your foot up as if you are pressing the sole of your foot up toward the ceiling and lift your chest. Inhale. And on your exhalation, take your right knee toward your chest and then circle it out to the right and back. So take three big circles here. And then pause. Inhale again, extend your right leg behind you. Bend your knee. Press up through the sole of your foot. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale, draw your knee to your chest. This time, circle the other way. And if you're not sure which way you went, that's all right. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Just move your hip around. One more breath. Inhale. And on your exhalation, release your right knee next to your left. Take a moment to find stability in your tabletop position. And then on your inhale, take your left leg back, hover your toes, and then bend your knee. Inhale, press the sole of your foot up, lift your chest, lift your gaze a bit. Exhale, draw your left knee to your chest, and then circle it to the left and out. Taking three big circles here with your hip. And whenever you want, you can switch directions. One more breath and then slowly releasing your left leg. Now bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees, and send your hips back toward your heels. They don't necessarily need to go all the way. You could even bring a block between your hips and your sitting bones. And maybe you bring a block under your forehead, or you make a pile with your hands, or you extend your arms forwards. Inhale deeply. Sigh it out. Inhale, breathe into the back body. Exhale, soften into the hips and the low body, melting toward the mat. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Lengthen your arms forward, allow your knees to remain wide here, and on your inhalation, press yourself up. As you do so, maybe your toes also lift, and start to roll forward so your thighs come toward the floor. Press your hips forward, lift your chest, and open up to the front body. There's absolutely no need for you to look up or think that your head and your toes need to touch. If that's for you, wonderful. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, roll it all the way back toward your child's pose. On your inhalation, lift your chest just a little bit, and then thread your left arm under your right. And you could take your left ear to the floor, or you could also take the forehead to the floor. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Lift your forehead, extend your left arm forward, take a moment to find length here, inhale. And on your exhalation, this time thread your right arm under the left, and like I said, you could take your right ear to the floor, or you could take your forehead down. 
Notice the sensation through the right shoulder and arm. One more, deep breath in and out. Lengthen your right arm forward. Press yourself back up. This time align your knees with your hips coming into a tabletop. And on your inhalation, shift your hips back toward your heels, starting to awaken the soles of your feet. You can stay with your hands on the ground, or if you want to increase the sensation, slowly walk yourself up, hands to your thighs. Or you could even bring your hands behind you and catch opposite wrist or elbows, drawing your shoulder blades back, opening through the front and the upper body a bit more. And notice what arises here, even if it's discomfort. Remember that discomfort may happen through your day and through your week. And sometimes when we realign with our intention and our values, it's just a little bit easier. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, release your hands, release your feet, either tap them onto the floor or make circles with your ankles, wiggling your toes. Inhale. And on your exhalation, let yourself come down to your abdomen. Make a pillow with your hands and rest your forehead down for a moment. Wiggle your hips with your legs extended. Or if you rather, you can bend your knees and windshield wiper your legs or crisscross them. One more breath here. Inhale. And on your exhalation, release your legs all the way back down, tops of the feet on the floor, hands underneath your shoulders, squeeze your elbows straight back and engage your body. And on your inhalation, gently press yourself up, opening through the front body. And then as you exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, gaze back to the front. Exhale, gaze over your right shoulder. Let yourself sway from side to side in this way at your own pace, at your own rhythm. Your arms could extend, your hips could get involved. It doesn't have to look like anything. How does it feel? One more breath in. And on your exhalation, come back through center, bring your hips back, perhaps come back to tabletop, or if you rather, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, and bring yourself into downward facing dog, this inverted V position. Really press through your fingertips, extend through your arms, side body, all the way through your hips. And your knees can be extended, but they could also be really bent here. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Inhale. And on your exhalation, we meet in tabletop from wherever you may be. Send your right leg behind you. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee to your chest, circle it out to the right, take one big circle, and then as you draw it back into your chest, step your right foot between your hands. If it doesn't get there on its own, grab your ankle with your hand, and perhaps you help it a little bit. If you have your blocks, I invite you to frame your right foot with them, otherwise place your hands on the ground or on your right thigh, and on your inhalation, lift your chest. Draw your right hip back and your left hip forwards to find more stability through the legs. And perhaps on your inhale, you lift both arms up. And on your exhale, surrender your hands to our opposite wrist or elbows, framing your head, lifting your chest and your gaze up. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, surrender your arms all the way down to the sides. They could line on your low back, squeezing your elbows toward one another and lifting your chest again. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hands down to your blocks or the floor. Now walk your right foot over toward the left a little bit and slide your foot back until you can diagonally bring your right shin down to the ground. Now you could absolutely stay up here, a little bit higher, or you could start to slide your left leg back and eventually maybe you bring one of your blocks under your hip to sit on it, or maybe your right hip finds the floor. But notice if what's happening is that you're just sitting on the right hip, make sure that your left leg stays on the ground, right? And that's how you can bring the block underneath for support. You can lift your chest and keep your hands on the floor in front of you or on a block. Inhale to lift your chest a little bit more. And on your exhalation, let yourself wave down. And you could stay down here or as you inhale again, wave up. One vertebra at a time. Last thing to lift is your head. Exhale, slowly bring yourself all the way back down. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, wave up. This time, move the block out of the way or whatever props you may be using. And take your right leg next to your left, back to your tabletop. Move your hips side to side, or if you rather, tuck your toes and your hips up and back for down dog. Feel free to pedal out your legs, to find movement, to find stillness. This is your practice. Make it absolutely yours. I'm just here for fun and for a little inspiration. Inhale. And exhale. 
Find yourself stable in your tabletop once again. And on your inhalation, this time, take your left leg behind you. And on your exhalation, draw your knee to your chest. Take a big circle with your hip. And eventually, as you draw your left knee in again, left foot between your hands, give it a tug if you'd like, and readjust for your low lunge. Your hands can be on the ground, or you can also use your blocks, lifting your chest here. Notice how the shape feels on this side. And then you can choose to maybe lift your chest, lift your arms, breathe in. Breathe out, let your hands surrender toward opposite elbows, opening through the front body. As we enter the second half of the year, consider where will you use, where will you choose to shine? Inhale. Exhale, let your arms melt down to the sides. Maybe they surrender on the sides. Maybe you bring your hands to your low back drawing your right hip slightly forward and your left hip slightly back. One more inhale. And on your exhalation, take your hands back down to your blocks. Now this time, walk your left foot over to the right. Surrender your left shin diagonally in front of your right leg and consider where you wanna go. Perhaps you stay here, perhaps you bring a block under your left hip and slide your right leg further back. Perhaps your hip is on the ground. It's whatever works for you. Feel free to bring a block in front of your, or your hands in front, whatever you find first. Inhale to lift your chest. And on your exhalation, melt down and stay. Or inhale again, lift up. Exhale, melt down. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, press yourself all the way back up. Move any props out of the way. Slide your left leg next to the right. Inhale, shift forward to a knee plank. Exhale, slowly lower down to your abdomen. Hands underneath your shoulders. Press through the front of the body. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, take your hips back. Big toes together, knees wide, chalice pose. Or if you rather, feel free to take a down dog. Deep breath in through your nose. Let it go, soften. One more, inhale. Exhale. Press yourself to tabletop or down dog. Gaze to the top of the mat as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, you can get up and take as many steps as you'd like to the top of the mat. The next section, you could also do sit it on a chair, using a wall for support. Again, make the practice yours, yeah? Inhale, flat back, lengthen through the back of the body. And on your exhalation, let yourself fold as your head relaxes down. Maybe you... Shake your head yes and no, or just let it bob around a little bit. That is, if there's any tension that softens a little. You could also pinch the tops of your ears and massage them. It's a great way to release tension and stress and anxiety. <sighs> Breathe one more inhale. And on your exhalation, release your arms. Bring your feet evenly grounded on the earth. Press up, breathe in, arms rise all the way out and up overhead. Unite your palms, perhaps press your hips a little forward as you take a gentle back bend. And on your exhalation, your hands surrender in front of your heart and then down next to your body. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. And just notice yourself as you are, where you are. Can you let yourself sway back and forth or side to side, continuing to Feel and acknowledge the center, whatever that means to you. Becoming fully aware of the fact that you are here, the fact that you are alive, and that this breath, this day, this week, is another chance to live your life as you want to. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up, palms unite. Exhale, soften your knees, fold forward, relax your head down. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step both feet back, find a plank pose. Feel free to lower your knees or keep them off the floor. Inhale. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin, or perhaps take a nice controlled chaturanga floating before you find the floor. As you inhale, lift your chest, opening up to the front of the body. And as you exhale, tabletop or down dog, I'll remain in tabletop the first side. I'll do the second side on down dog. You do what works for you. Inhale, take your right leg behind you. Exhale, draw your right knee to your chest, right foot between your hands. Now, if your right knee is down, 
pivot your left, or if your left knee is down, pivot your left foot a little to the right. If your left knee is lifted, pivot your left heel down to the right. Either way, on your next inhalation, press yourself up, cartwheeling your arms up and around. And on your exhalation, maybe you bend into your front knee a bit more. Take your gaze forward. Keep your shoulders and your hips stacked over one another. And then flip your right palm up. Inhale, reach it slightly forward. Exhale, left hand to your hip or anywhere on your left leg as you reach your right arm straight up at first. Inhale to find more length. And on your exhalation, maybe you lean back, but keep the bend in the front knee. One more inhale. And exhale. Bring your arms back to the horizon. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the inside of your right foot. Square your hips again, and if your knee is down, you can keep it down. If your knee is lifted, you can keep it lifted. Walk your right foot slightly out to the right, and lift your chest. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, if your left knee isn't down yet, lower it down, send your right leg behind you, deep breath in. Exhale, move your left foot to the left, right toes land next to you on the floor, and you could stay or sweep your right arm all the way overhead. Inhale. Exhale, come back to your tabletop or your downward dog. If you want to take a vinyasa flow, feel free to come to plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, or skip it all. Do what works for you. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. From your table or your downward dog on your inhalation, take your left leg up. And on the exhalation, draw your left knee toward your chest, left foot between your hands. Right knee can be down or up. If your right knee is down, pivot your foot to the left. If your right knee is up, pivot your heel to the left. Draw your left hip back toward the right side a bit more. And once you're ready, rise up, cartwheeling your arms up and around. Inhale. Exhale, bend into your front knee a little bit more, keeping your arms parallel to the floor in the shape that we call warrior two. Breathe and notice what arises and then flip your left palm up toward the ceiling inhale reach it a little bit forward past your left toes and on your exhalation right hand to your hip or slide it down the right leg as your left arm goes straight up lengthen a little bit more toward the sky breathe in and as you exhale maybe lean back opening the left side body notice if you're collapsing anywhere press and lift yourself up a little bit more one more inhale Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, lower your right knee down to the earth. And then bring both hands to the inside of your foot. Walk your left foot a little further out. Lift your chest and breathe. One more breath here, inhale. And on your exhalation, ground your hands firmly, keep your right leg on the floor, send your left leg behind you, breathe in. And as you breathe out, as your right foot pivots to the right, your left toes find the floor. And on your inhalation, you can sweep your right arm all the way up and overhead. Stretch it out. Breathe in. And then breathe out, tabletop or downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose or your mouth. Again, inhale. And exhale. From tabletop or down dog, up to you. Inhale, take your right leg up. Maybe this time you turn your toes to the right and bend your knee and open through your hip, just like we did at the beginning of practice. Exhale, circle your right knee to your chest, right foot between your hands. Pivot your left heel to the floor or bring your right knee to the ground and pivot the foot to the right. And on your inhalation, rise up. Take your arms parallel to the horizon and as you exhale, bend into warrior two. Flip your right palm, reach it slightly forward, inhale, exhale, left arm to your left leg, right arm straight up, fine length, breathe in, and breathe out, maybe lean back a little. One more breath, inhale, and as you exhale this time, bring your arms back to the horizon, right forearm to your right leg, and left arm straight up. Take your gaze up as well if you want to. Press down to the outer edge of your left foot, and you can absolutely stay here in side angle. This is a great place to practice, especially if you want to work on drawing your right rib cage forward and your left rib cage back. If you want to fly for a moment, take your left hand to your left hip. Take a couple of steps forward with your left leg. And then, of course, your right hand can find the floor. I prefer the block. Or if you have a wall, my friend, use the wall. Yeah. 
and then from there you can slowly start playing with lifting and lowering your left foot yeah for some maybe the foot stays floating and your hands can both be on your hips again right rib cage forward left rib cage back or your right hand could find the block and maybe your left arm starts to float up wherever you are make sure you're breathing yeah <laughs> inhale and on your exhalation surrender your left hand square your hips left toes down right toes back plank pose inhale exhale maybe you do all the shenanigans maybe you skip them all and we meet in tabletop or downward dog breathe in breathe out one more deep inhale fill up your lungs sigh it out ha from tabletop or down dog inhale take your left leg up turn your toes to the left bend your knee and then circle your left knee to your chest left foot between your hands either right knee down and move your left foot over to the right or right heel down rise up inhale exhale bend your left knee finding yourself in Vira Badrasana to warrior two flip your left palm up inhale reach slightly forward exhale right arm to your right leg left arm straight up find stability as you reach up breathe in breathe out maybe lean back a little inhale come back through center warrior two and then on your exhalation start to take your left forearm to your left thigh and your right arm straight up you can keep your gaze down to the side or up but the important thing here is that the left rib cage rotates forward and your right rib cage rotates back feel free to stay or take your gaze back down right hand to your right hip perhaps a couple hops forward and on your next inhalation you can start to let yourself float into whatever variation of half moon that you choose or whatever variation of side angle consider that whatever shape you're in you can change you can breathe you can move you can be still inhale and on your exhalation both hands to the floor square your hips this time we'll meet in child's pose big toes together knees wide forehead to the earth or to your hands breathe in deeply breathe out completely notice the energy moving through you breathe in and breathe out one more inhale and exhale press yourself up and start to bring your uh, left knee behind your right and draw your feet open so you can start to move back and forth here just for a moment notice if your hips go a lot to the right see if you can let them go straight back and for some of us maybe there's a point where you grab a block and you can bring the block behind you and sit on the block for some people maybe you sit between your heels on the ground but again the idea is not to sit on your right heel yeah it's to be right in between keeping the hips aligned another way to do this is by extending your bottom leg and just keeping your right leg on top of the left so you'll be seated on the ground yeah you can keep your spine long you can fold whatever works for you just breathe one more breath inhale and on your exhalation you can uncross the legs if you were in hands and knees you can come back there or you can change sides by just staying on a seat so this time your right knee will be behind the left draw your feet open and then from there start to bring yourself back 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 until you find the sensation that you want for some it's right here moving back and forth for some it's seated on a block for some it's seated between the heels for some it's extending your right leg and keeping your left knee on top of the right inhale to lengthen and exhale to stay or to fold one more breath wherever you are inhale and on your exhalation lift yourself up now bring yourself to a seat if you're not if you're not already there shake your legs shake your head shake your arms take a deep breath in and out bring yourself to any seat that you'd like hands on your knees you could sit on a block if you want to elevate your hips a little bit inhale 
And on your exhalation, start to take your left hand toward your right knee, and both hands can stay on the knee, or maybe your right hand comes behind you. Lengthen to inhale, and twist a little bit more to exhale. One more breath here. And then coming back to center, lengthen your spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, this time the right hand comes to the left, and maybe the left hand comes behind you. Breathe in to lengthen, and breathe out to twist. Allow the spiral of energy to rise and expand upward and upward. And then slowly returning to center. Take your arms out to the sides, inhale. Exhale, take your right arm over the left, give yourself a little hug, maybe moving side to side, or if you rather, bring the backs of the hands or the palms of the hands to touch for eagle arms. Maybe move your neck here, or your elbows, take a couple of circles one way and then the other. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Release your arms, open up, deep breath in. Exhale, take the other arm over. I won't tell you which one that is because maybe you did the same one as me, maybe you didn't. Hands to your shoulders, move side to side, or if you rather find eagle arms or any variation of eagle that works for you. And movement, circles, or stillness, whatever serves you. One more breath, inhale. And on your exhalation, release your arms, move your neck, shake it out. Maybe you move the way in which you've been sitting and find a different way or the same way once again, just to do a few moments of centering and closing of this practice. If you want to lie down, you can also lie down. But let your gaze soften or your eyes close. One hand may rest on your abdomen, the other hand may rest on your heart. Just giving yourself permission in the same way that you showed up to move, to create, to explore. To now just rest and let go. And let the practice integrate. Observing what is. Aware right here, right now, that you are alive. And that is the gift in itself. So I invite you perhaps to reconnect to your intention. But there's also a chance that it has served its purpose in this practice. You can also maybe let it go. Making space for a new one. Either way, take this moment as a reminder of gratitude for your body, for your mind, and for every single breath that you take. May you not take a single one for granted. Deep breath in. Deepest breath you've taken all day. Let it go. Once you feel complete, you can release your hands, you can open your eyes, and you can move on with your day. It's time. Thank you. Thank you.